In today's video, I'll show you how to make your video like this. This is called a power window. Why would you use a power window? Usually in a scene, there's a lot of distracting points of the scene, just like this. This DaVinci Resolve sign might be distracting or the lights behind might be a lot distracting or my YouTube plaque right there. You guys might want to see, oh, how many subscribers does he have that he has a plaque over there, right? But I want you to focus on me. So what I'll do is I'll add a power window on myself and I'll darken the side, but I'll still keep it there just so it doesn't look weird. Anyways, guys, let's get on the computer so I could show you guys how to apply a power window onto your videos. Let's get it. Hey guys, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to add a power window to this video clip. We're here in the edit tab. We're gonna move over to the color tab and you have your node already selected here and you will click on this right here, which is called window and you're gonna get all these options, right? For this specific tutorial, I'm gonna use the circle. So let's click the circle and you'll notice a circle window has been made on the screen, right? So now I just want myself to be kind of glowing and the sides need to be more dark. So let's just make it into an oval, move it down and you see these red dots, that is to feather it out. Therefore, it's not harsh edges. So let's just feather it out, okay? Let's do all the way up to there. Maybe I can make my window a bit more smaller and move up. All right, so now you're gonna notice when I make any adjustments, so watch, I'll do some harsh adjustments here. Um, you see how it's turning the inside? It's adjusting the inside of the window. We gotta adjust the outside of the window. So right here, there's a small little sign. It's to invert your mask. So you're gonna click that and now watch my screen, guys. When I lower, the gamma, you're gonna notice the side's getting darker. When I lower my, get, uh, my gain, it's getting darker even more. Maybe I'll put my lift all the way down. And maybe I can move my power window just slightly up. So let me show you in full screen how it looks. So that's how it looks in full screen, which looks pretty cool. Let me show you, if you didn't feather this, watch, it's gonna be ugly. So watch this. It's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like a big oval on the screen, right? So the feather really helps it to look smooth. And that's how it looks, guys. So watch. Now there's more focus on me and there's less focus on the sides. And you get many options here. So let me undo this. You get a lot of options here. You can make a square just like that if you have like a building or so, something. And you also get the pen tool. So let's say you don't wanna do the circle and you wanna be very accurate with it. You can start making points, right? Let's say I just want my face and nothing else. So I could start making these points. As Soon as I attach them, it turns into a power window. Same thing, I'm gonna invert it. So watch this, let's do something funny. So all dark, dark, let's see this. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty guys. funny but anyways guys that's how you do a power window and obviously you can soften the mask so it's not that harsh so there we go so that's how you create power windows guys hopefully this helped you guys there it is guys that's how you apply a power window in DaVinci Resolve I hope this tutorial helped you guys as you guys know, you could be very creative with this power window. Let's say you have a sick shot of a car zooming by, you could add a power window, that way the focus is right on the car rather than the whole scene in the background. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys learned something, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Here are some couple of other videos that I made that can help you guys be better as editors or videographers or content creators in general. Until next time.